Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome in this new video. Today I'm at the slope and I will do the review of, I will show you, the Express LRS module from Bella FPV. I have the receiver stuck right there in my glider. So I had to switch the pins on the, the servo plugs on the receiver to 90 degree bent uh, plugs because uh, the straight one wasn't fitting in the fuselage. So I already uh, suggested to Beta FPV to do a version with the 90 degree bend version of the pins. So it should be fine, I hope. So today what I will check is the latency of the link uh, between the radio and the glider because uh, but FPV is doing drone stuff uh, for FPV freestyle, so RC glider is not the main thing. So yeah, I'm a bit here to test if they can do something great for us, the aerobatics pilots, but with RC planes and glider, because latency is also important uh, in our case. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's try if it improves anything from a usual receiver. Let's go. So here we go, I guess. Um, before to put my glider in the air, I want just to tell you some little things I would like to see improved on this system. Uh, it's there is no voltage telemetry, so uh, I don't know what what is the sa state of my receiver battery right now. If it's dis discharged or anything, I always need to unplug, check with my uh, voltage tester, battery tester, uh, that is in my bag. So, yeah, is it's not really convenient, and I would like to see that in the next version of the receiver. So, Beta FPV, I hope you are looking at this and uh, you are thinking about it because it would be really great. And yeah, the 90 degrees pins also, as I as I did. So yeah, we'll see if uh, the, the filling is a bit better uh, with the improved um, latency. And another thing I noticed, the servers are a bit jittery. So it might be me, <laughs> I don't want to blame it on the receiver or uh, module. It might be me and my settings. I don't really know what I'm doing with it yet because it's quite new to me uh, but yeah maybe with an with a firmware update it might solve this so don't I really don't care about this right now it might be just firmware issue but I just want to feel oh it is in the air and if it can help improving my aerobatic game so here we go and by the way this is uh, hey he from uh, a E I E, <laughs> say it as you want. Uh, from Dream Flight, and this one in particular, this design is from Sunsebeer. So if you want the same, just shop at Sunsebeer. Right now, feels quite good. Feels at least as as responsive as usual, if not any better but feels good what i like a lot with uh, external module like this is if anything bad happened to your module it's just external things from your radio and uh, it's not your radio that is damaged or anything like this so this is really cool and this module is quite inexpensive, so this is a good point, and it's 2.4 gigahertz, so really wide band. Um, it's this one can go up to one watt. Obviously, here in Europe we are limited to 25 milliwatts, so I'm at 25 milliwatts right now. 
and I don't need anything more than this because with a glider you, you don't go really really far uh, your view is limiting how far you can go and until now seems perfect so so far so good Woo! The wind is a bit crossed, so it's about this direction. <laughs> so really not straight for to the slope. It's a bit going. It's coming a bit from the right side. I love to do this. <laughs> really smooth. The glider feels like it's on a rail today, so might be might be the express address system because it, it feels different. I can't tell if it feels more locked in, uh, it feels more locked in, but I can't say if it feels more responsive, but it feels locked in and easy easier to fly, more predictable. So yeah, something something might help from the module and the receiver. Maybe it's the, the more packets rates because I'm at 500 hertz right now. So maybe it helps. At least the the, the least I can say is it feels good. Feels really good in the air. I'm really confident about my radio link. I know I will not fail safe because it feels re reliable. So right now it's sinking, it's not really great. <laughs> the wind is not perfect, so sometimes it can do this. But yeah, the only thing missing really is this voltage, the voltage sensor. If I can get a voltage sensor, I think I might switch everything to this system. Because, yeah, I don't know, there is something about the feeling of it. It, it makes the glider feel quite different, a bit more stiff and responsive. And I like that. I like that a lot for aerobatics. I feel like my gliders is flying really clean, so I like that a lot. I, I'm i gonna come land and uh, at least I'm gonna try to do it clean because th there is a lot of turbulence because of the trees. There is always a struggle on this slope, <laughs> it's to land and there is no air brakes on this glider, so it's quite tricky. Try to take not a lot of speed. Woo! Turbulence. And kiss landing. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, uh, I'm not impressed, but I'm quite, it's quite pleasing. <laughs> so yeah, it, it's good. As a, the only thing I can say, I think, is it's good. If you want to try it, go ahead. Because if you are struggling with range or you want to try this, this feeling is really unique. Because I, I never felt my glider like this. So, yeah, might be something. <laughs> might be something there. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Hope you liked this video. And, uh, yeah, if you do so, subscribe, like. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.